Uh, namaste to all. Uh, I'm Dr. Nishit Kumar Mahanti, uh, Chief Nephrologist and Transplant Physician, Apollo Hospital, Bhubaneswar. I'm having experience of 35 years of uh, medical experience and as a nephrologist, 25 years. Actually, I have done more than 1,000 transplantation, kidney transplantation. Also, we do more than 40,000 dialysis in a year. And uh, in our center, actually, we do all type of treatment related to uh, kidney disease, like transplantation, dialysis, kidney biopsy, uh, critical care nephrology, emergency nephrology, everything uh, within a uh, one building. We do all the advanced treatment, what is uh, possible, available throughout the world. Today, actually, I'm going to discuss a very important topic regarding how to choose or what to choose between uh, kidney transplantation and dialysis. Why this question arises? When somebody develops end-stage kidney failure, that means he is having severe kidney failure. Severe kidney failure means if his kidney function is less than 15% of the normal, the normal actually we express as GFR, clonal filtration rate. Normal is 100 to 125 ml per minute. If goes below 15 ml per minute, then we say it uh, severe kidney failure. And by that time, actually, you have to plan for whether the patient has to go for a dialysis or transplantation. But in India, actually, we uh, start dialysis once the patient is symptomatic or patient usually goes, uh, his kidney function goes below 8 ml per minute GFR. So what is the symptoms? When somebody has to uh, think of, usually the early symptoms are loss of appetite, patient will not feel hungry, then uh, there will be weakness, there will be itching, uh, there may be somnolence, patient may be sleeping more in daytime than the uh, nighttime. So that the alteration of the sleep cycle, so the, these are the uh, early symptoms, or there may be nausea and vomiting, patient always uh, nauseating, not interested to eat. So these are the early symptoms when uh, one should plan for either for a dialysis or transplantation. The next question is why uh, these things happen? Because once there is a decrease in the kidney function, the body cannot maintain the fluids, the blood pressure, the sodium potassium, the urea creatinine, the other chemicals like calcium phosphate, uric acid, which are mostly balanced by the kidney. So when they, these toxins are accumulated in the body, that create problems. So somebody has to do the work of the kidney. Somebody means Either it has to be a machine that is the machine that is dialysis, or you have to replace the, the damaged kidney with a, a new kidney that is known as transplantation. So it is sometimes very difficult to decide to go for what, whether you go to for a dialysis treatment or it go for a transplantation. So the thing that uh, both has some advantage and disadvantage, and you have to decide as per your accessibility of the uh, medical facilities, your circumstances, your age, your uh, paying cap capabilities, because all both the modalities of treatment requires a lot of money and also time. So I will go by go dialysis and transplantation. So when uh, who are the fit person for uh, transplantation? Actually, uh, anybody with a good health, particularly the younger people, in India, actually, maybe uh, they are uh, less than 65 to younger, all the children also, they are undergoing transplantation. So what is a transplantation? Transplantation means we take a kidney from uh, but, uh, kidney from either a cadaver that is branded person or from a living, either it is a related or unrelated. So in India, only law permits it is the related, related means father, mother, brother, uh, sister, wife, husband, and grandmother, grandfather. And other people who are allowed are the emotional related, like friends, close friends, like that. But that has to be, uh, the permission has to be given by the uh, committee of the respective state. Then they can be transplanted. So what is the advantage of transplantation? What I have seen over the last uh, 25 years of my transplantation uh, practice, the most important thing is that the quality of life, Actually, you see why you treat something, somebody. It is because to improve the quality of life. So uh, with kidney transplantation, it, there is 
good quality of brain he can perform his duty he can have a normal uh, relatively normal life and uh, he can enjoy his life so he can go uh, he can do his duty you can go for uh, travel so it is a uh, the quality of life will be much much better if you will compare with the uh, hemodialysis that i'll describe later on but uh, and um, another important thing then what is the disadvantage disadvantage of uh, this uh, kidney transplant disadvantage is that actually need a, a kidney uh, for the transplantation it is not easy to get it is very difficult to get uh, nowadays if somebody is diabetic then entire family is diabetic or nowadays they become the smaller and smaller family so there are uh, very few uh, people in their in the family to uh, donate kidney to get outside kidney it is very difficult uh, the law does not permit it so it, that is a, one of the biggest thing the availability of the uh, kidneys uh, for the transplantation second thing that it needs uh, at a time initially it needs a lot of money later on the cost goes down but initially it uh, cost a lot of money because to go to uh, the private sector it uh, the cost cost varies from the 10 lakhs to 15 lakhs maybe more and uh, if somebody is lucky to do it in government hospital it may be uh, cheaper maybe it may be free in the government sector so one of the cost is very important thing and another thing that patient has to continue medicine life long he cannot stop medicine he has to continue the kidney transplant meditation not to reject the kidney so other things in india actually what to see that uh, patient uh, may have lot of infection always he is very careful because uh, even if in india the if a normal person gets infected there is diarrhea cholera uh, many things are there tuberculosis and uh, many uh, problems are there so it is difficult to prevent uh, infection so they they have to be very careful for in, not to have infection and uh, next thing is that hemodialysis definitely hemodialysis is the next uh, the there are two type of dialysis hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis hemodialysis means you have to you have to uh, clear or uh, the you have to uh, purify the blood uh, by a machine that is a dialysis machine and uh, the patient has to uh, go to the hospital uh, two to three times in a week and the uh, standard dialysis for to uh, that is uh, four hours and uh, it is two to three times in a week and uh, the advantage is that now the dialysis facilities are now Uh, started to have uh, available uh, at least in the district level even some rural levels so it is not available and widely now available and uh, the problem is that uh, the dialysis cannot cure or correct all the um, problems of uh, kidney failure but uh, in case of transplantation the kidney which are giving uh, to the patient can perform all the function of uh, a normal kidney all the function means blood pressure control blood formation uh, blood purification control of the sodium potassium blood uh, everything can be done by the transplantation but in dialysis only you can remove the uh, urea creatinine and, and control the ph also uh, control the blood volume but not all the functions like blood blood formation function so it is a, one of the disadvantages of and another disadvantage of uh, hemodialysis is Mm, you have to go eight uh, to twelve times in a week, and uh, somebody has to accompany you. So the cost of therapy goes up, and uh, it is a continuous therapy. Uh, because uh, continuous therapy means lifelong. Unless you uh, get transplanted, you have to continue it. And the, if you see the cost, uh, long term cost, it is much more higher. Uh, in average private center, the cost of per month is uh, around thirty to forty thousand. That means around five uh, lakhs per year. Uh, in comparison the once if you can do transplantation that cost uh, goes drastically it may be 1 lakh or 1.5 lakhs in a year after one year of transplantation so cost wise hemodialysis is costlier if you are lucky enough then you can have uh, free dialysis in uh, government centers dialysis process is the peritoneal dialysis so what is a peritoneal dialysis you put a catheter in the abdomen of the uh, patient and the abdomen the peritoneum works as a your uh, semi pulp membrane where dialysis occurs and the advantage of peritoneal dialysis is that you can do at home uh, at your pace and uh, but it has to be done every day and uh, three to four times in a day there are also uh, automatic varieties uh, available that is known as an apd that can be done uh, at night 
so that uh, um, uh, you are free in the daytime. But uh, peritoneal dialysis is a slower process, and to the major uh, problem can happen to uh, peritoneal dialysis infection. But nowadays, that infection that has come down like anything uh, because of the newer techniques and newer bags uh, for dialysis are available. To summarize my uh, talk today, for a end stage kidney failure patient. Uh, whose numbers are increasing day by day uh, everywhere in the world. Now 10% of the population are having chronic kidney disease and majority, many of them will end up in end-stage kidney failure and uh, they will require either dialysis or transplantation and they have to decide transplantation for, or hemodialysis. If uh, I will advise all the uh, younger people uh, to have kidney transplantation because the quality of life the cost of therapy, long term, the cost of therapy uh, will be much better with hemo uh, your kidney transplantation than hemodialysis. If it is not able, not possible for uh, due to any uh, unavoidable reason because of uh, non availability of uh, donor or infrastructure, whatever it may be, then hemodialysis is, a, hemodialysis is for you. And uh, peritoneal dialysis for the people who are particularly those very elderly people with multiple problems like heart problem or other uh, liver problems, uh, they can opt for this. And uh, if uh, same thing like uh, hemodialysis, if you are not able to do transplant, then go for peritoneal dialysis. And uh, the cost of peritoneal dialysis is almost equivalent to hemodialysis or maybe a little bit more than that. And uh, you can avail, it is now available throughout, the, uh, throughout India. And uh, another advantage is that you can do it in your remote place, any remote place in India, whether you are in the hills, whether you are in the, uh, any small island or anywhere. So you can do the uh, peritoneal dialysis anywhere where there is, even there is no doctor, or there is no uh, hospitals there, you can do it. So uh, the remote, uh, I think, as of now, the peritoneal dialysis is most suited for people who cannot travel for a long distance to hospital, cannot do transplant, and staying in a, staying in a place which is far away from the uh, your main centers, main hospital centers or cities. So uh, this is today. Thank you.